This time Sark and this video we are looking at futures contracts. So first of all let's look at what are futures. As futures are derivative financial contracts that obligate the parties to transact an asset at a predetermined future date and price. So this means that the buyer must purchase the asset and the seller must sell at the set price, regardless of the market price at the time. For example, assume that two traders agree to $50 per barrel of crude oil. Now if the price at the end of a futures contract is $60 per barrel, this means that the buyer of a contract will make $10 per barrel, whereas the seller will lose out on a better deal. Now physical commodities such as crude oil and corn can be traded on a futures exchange, as can other financial instruments like currency or bonds. Now futures can be used for hedging or trade speculation. So now let's look at the pros and cons of futures contracts, as there are certain advantages in trading through futures. So firstly, companies can hedge the price of their raw materials or products they sell to protect from adverse price movements. Investors can also use futures contracts to speculate on the direction in the price of an underlying asset. Futures contracts may also only require a deposit of the fraction of the contract amount with a broker. However, there are also risks and disadvantages. So investing in a futures contract might cause a company to miss out on favourable price movements. Futures markets also typically use high leverage because a trader does not need to put up 100% of a contract's value when entering into a trade. So this means there is a risk of losing more than the initial margin amount. Now we'll look on to actually using futures. As instead of paying 100% of a contract's value up front, the broker will require an initial margin amount. So this amount will vary depending on the size of a contract and the credit worthiness of the investor. So the exchange where the futures trades will determine whether the contract is for the physical delivery or if it can be cash settled. So therefore some corporations may enter into a physical delivery contract to hedge the price of a commodity they need for production. This may include an airline hedging the price of oil for example. Most futures contracts however are from traders who speculate on the trade and these contracts are closed out and cash settled so you don't actually get the physical commodity such as oil for example. A futures contract will allow a trader to speculate on the direction of movement of the price of a commodity. So therefore if a trader bought a futures contract and the price of a commodity was higher at the end of a contract, this means that the trader would have made a profit. On the other hand, if the price of a commodity falls, then the trader would make a loss. Now speculators are able to short if they believe that the price of an underlying asset will fall and the net difference will then be settled at the expiration of a contract. Now by trading on margin, the trader can also make significant gains as well as significant losses. For example, a trader might have a £10,000 broker account but is in a trade for a £100,000 position in crude oil. So if the price of the oil moves against their trade, they will therefore incur losses which far exceed the initial £10,000. So this would mean that the broker would have to make a margin call requiring additional funds to be deposited to cover market losses. So margin calls are triggered when an account drops below the maintenance level. Now futures can also be used to hedge the price movement of an underlying asset to prevent losses from potentially unfavourable price changes and give a degree of certainty. For example, a farmer may use futures to lock in a specific price for selling their crops. So this will both reduce their risk and guarantee that they will receive the fixed price. Now if the price of a crop rises though, they will miss out on potentially larger profits. Now many companies will also hedge oil to minimise risk in such a volatile market. So thanks for watching. If you click on my website link in the description, there is a link which will give you a free share of up to £100 if you follow the instructions. But thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.